Hey, what's good? Matthew Manuel here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw perfect, crispy supply and demand zones. And I'm going to make sure it's nice and easy for you to understand. And, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Real quick, before I show you how to draw perfect supply and demand zones, we just need to quickly do a quick refresher of market structure, and then we'll get into it because you need to understand this if you're going to draw these perfect zones. All right, so we have an uptrend here. All right, so here we have an uptrend. And here we have a downtrend. Here, let's actually connect these really fast. Uh, now let's quickly go through and label this. All right, so right here, we have a structure break. Here, let's... I'm going to go in and draw the lines first. All right. And then we're going to come through and label what they all are. All right. So all these to the upside, these are going to be structure breaks to the upside. So we got a structure break right here structure break right here and then i actually forgot right here but we also have a market structure shift right here so right here we have a market structure shift to the downside Structure break to the downside. And another structure break to the downside. And now that we know where all our structure breaks and market shifts are, we're going to be able to easily come in here and perfectly draw our supply and demand zones. Now our supply zones are going to be responsible for our market structure shifts to the downside or our structure breaks to the downside. And our demand zones are going to be responsible for our structure break to the upside or if we were to have this going the opposite way, uh, something, for instance, something like this. This area down here would be our demand zone. So just to give you an example, there is not necessarily a demand zone right here because there's nothing before. There's no break of structure, but we get a demand zone right here because it caused this break of structure right here. Demand zone right here, cause a break of structure. Demand zone right here, cause another break of structure. And then we have one last demand zone right here because it caused a market structure shift to the upside. Now, when it comes to our supply zones uh, right here, this area right here is actually responsible for causing this market structure shift to the downside. So we have a supply zone right here we got a, we have a structure break to the downside right there. So supply zone. We have another break of structure right there and it is responsible. And this zone right here is responsible for it. So that is going to be our supply zone. And just like that, and that right there is how we want to locate our supply and demand zones. Now taking what we just reviewed right here, and looking at a real chart, I want to quickly make note, if you're in this chart, if it's in an uptrend, there is no supply zone. If you're in a downtrend, there is no demand zone. It's different if there's a change in trend or if you're looking across different time zones. But if you're just on one time zone looking for supply and demand, uh, there is only going to be demand zones in an upward trend and there's only going to be supply zones in the downward trend. Coming up here looking for demand zone since we're clearly in an upward trend right now looking for our break of structure you can see there's a break of structure right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the last blue candle before that break of structure which in this case here let me see what color this candle is that's actually a blue candle so the last red candle 
this is actually a demand zone so i'm going to change the color of that just so you know all right got a demand zone right there where's our next structure break okay so we have structure here so the last black candle before the break it uh, we actually think we go into a downtrend right here so let's say we have a break of structure right here the last black candle the the last black candle before that again you're just going to come highlight the whole candle drag it out that's how you draw your demand zone let's just pretend that this continued on and actually came past here and broke past this level right there we have a market structure shift to the downside and because of that we are now going to have a supply zone up here up top which is going to be the last bullish candle and it's going to look like that we actually have another change of character right here if we look at it you can see that we actually have a supply zone that goes into a demand zone. So we have a supply zone over here. And once again, for the supply zone, you just want to highlight the entire last bullish candle. And that's going to give you your supply zone. And it's really as simple as that. So now that you understand how to draw perfect supply and demand zones, you're going to want to understand the rules for trading supply and demand, which is exactly why you're going to want to watch this video right here next. Thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.